Thanks, Bob. After two candidates failed to receive at least 50% of the votes in March, they're now in the midst of a runoff election. Today, we spoke with the candidates and peeled back the curtain of the people behind the political hopefuls. KX's William Johnson has the story. It's a classic game of musical chairs. Two candidates, one seat. At a family-owned ranch in College Station, Kyle Cassell says he remembers the moment he almost didn't come to town for school, but says his decision made his mom happy. My mom in tears because I told her I was going, and obviously I got my letter to A&M a week later and accepted that one, but uh, that was the longest week of my life. My mom mad at me thinking I was going to be a Longhorn. Sitting on the District 12 seat since 2013, Cassell says it's here where he has fond memories going to A&M and later forming a family of his own. My wife Marcy and I have been married almost 30 years and uh, all, all of that time has been spent here in uh, Brazos County. Since his start in office, Cassell says he's made law enforcement and first responders a priority, helping to provide bulletproof protection and charitable support to groups. Cassell says his faith in God has always come first and it's what led him to want to serve others. I am called to serve. That is what I do. I'm in the service industry, so it's just how God made me. Cassell says he's also helped to start the Ovarian Cancer Foundation to support women's health. But for Cassell, he says if he's elected, he's hoping to make a comeback on reforming crime. Bell reform. We didn't quite get there. We made some monumental steps. So it's another thing driving me to get back. I want to make sure we give this community, this district, the opportunity to succeed, but I want them to be safe. His opponent, Ben Bias, says he's happy to call Huntsville his home for many years. Huntsville is my home. I've lived here. I came to school here in 1974, graduated in 79, and uh, opened a business here and been in business ever since. BNB Properties helping with commercial development and real estate for areas in Texas. He says he's most notably known, though, for his wife. My wife is named Kim, and in Huntsville, I'm often well known as Kim's husband, and that's gotten me a lot of votes. Kim owns a home and garden center here, which is extremely popular. When it comes to criminal cases, Bias says if he's elected, he wants to make trial processes easier for district attorneys. Ultimately, though, he says he's putting his faith in the front seat. I'm going to follow the word and the Constitution, and when they don't align up, we're off course. And although Cassell wants bail reform to be at the top, Bias says more needs to be done for the security of ballots and the Texas border. The ballot box and the border are what make a great nation. And if those are not secure, the people lose, lose hope. They don't vote and they become frustrated. So as both men take steps closer to Election Day, they're just hoping the people pick the right person to stand up for their interests. William Johnson, KAGS News. Now you can vote early next week, May 16th through the 20th, or on Election Day on May 24th.